AEW Dynamite. AEW flying high there, boy. <laughs> flying clean off a cliff. AEW reportedly drew 462,000 views. In two weeks, they've lost more than half of their audience. More than half. <laughs> oh, all Elite Real killing it. Mark Henry's bringing them ratings. <laughs> Is he fuck? He's watching this anymore. He cares about wrestling. Like, seriously. Like, I know, like, I'm laughing at AEW, but WWE ain't got nothing to laugh at either. I mean, come on, boys. Like, you, like they, were they hitting, like, the million mark now? But AEW lost half of his audience in two weeks. For anyone who doesn't know. Okay, we'll flick through this here. AEW. AEW. Okay, so on May 19th, they got 821,000 viewers. Now they only have 462 viewers. Where did the other half go? I wonder what happened. I'll tell you what happened. Now, there's been a petition. Yes, folks, there's been an actual real petition by the AEW fans getting rid of the NBA. And apparently a petition that the NBA shouldn't be able to air some of its shows during AEW. And that the, the time slot's killing them, guys. The time slot's killing them. Help them, please. The NBA, help them, you idiots. Mark, what's Mark Henry going to do? Like, look, Mark Henry had a really good run. I think it was like 2011 when he had the, you somebody go and get their ass kicked. So, like, it was great t t 10 years ago. <laughs> 10 years ago, people. And even 10 years ago, it was pushing it. Oh, we've got an image. And apparently, because of these ratings, Cody Rhodes is making an announcement next week. That's just another announcement of how, how his family are amazing. Um, I'm not going to get into too much arguments of the Cody Rhodes thing because I don't want to spoil the Rand series. But, um, <laughs> like, come on. Come on, people. This is this is beyond a joke now. Now, they're hitting danger level. WWE, by the way, is hitting danger level as well. So let's let's not like let's not just act like this is just one thing. It's it's the wrestling industry as a whole. But AEW, all this talk of AEW are gonna be the dominant brand and AEW are gonna beat everybody. Kenny Omega will bring the ratings. Say what you will about Dean Ambrose, John Moxley, whatever you want to call him. He brought at least some decent viewership. Because he's a marketable guy. Whether people like to admit that or not. Whether you like John Moxley or whatever it is. He's a well-known name. Okay. Ever since Kenny has won this world championship. He's just flatlined. He's just... Way, way down the shitter. Kenny Omega couldn't draw this cupboard. I know you can't see it. Look, look. I'm drawing this cupboard here, folks. Look. Kenny Omega can't draw nothing. He can't draw nothing. He just can't. You know. Remember all these edits? Oh, you just wait until the cleaner comes out. He's cleaning a lot. A lot of the people watching this. Oh, but... Kenny Omega's a multi-champion now. He's won in T. Nobody cares. He won a title in a company that gets 30,000 views. 30,000 views. Who cares? I know a lot of people are going to say, Look, AEW, I feel your pain. I'm starting my channel again. I got to climb through the ranks. I got to climb through the ladder. I got to get that consistency. I got to get that viewership. But I'm going to put work in this channel, folks. Just like a fine woman. A fine middle-aged woman in her 40s or 50s. I'm going to caress her. I'll keep her safe for all of you. 
What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But yeah, no, but seriously, like, what, what's AEW doing? Like, like what? <laughs> what are they at? Like, what? What? What are they at? Um, a complete joke. Just a complete joke. Uh, and, and the thing is, is that let's, like, look, I'm going to do something a bit different. Your Uncle Jerry is going to do something a bit different. Um, I know Reddy said that he, he, you're, what, tell your Uncle Reddy, Reddy, stop copying me. All right, you already copied the fan fiction. Stop copying the Uncle Jerry. Just saying, right? I'm just saying. I'll still love you, though. I still love you. But, um, Uncle Jerry is going to do something very, very different here, okay? All right, there. Let's take this at face value. Let's review this show. Let's look at all the champions. All the champions are either executive, vi of executive vice presidents or in the higher-ups. That's clear as day. It's clear that even the AEW fan base are not happy with Kenny Omega's world champion. It's clear he's a failure. He hasn't impressed anyone. All this talk of this guy in Japan. Uh, I know WJ's done a video about, um, about Kenny Omega in that match and stuff. So check that out absolutely. Link is in the description below. But the thing is folks. Is that Kenny to an American audience doesn't work. Okay. He can get away with a lot of that weirdo shit in Japan. Because you know I, I, that's normal over there. Whatever it might be. An American audience, it ain't gonna come off. In fact, there was actually some members of the gay community that were actually offended by how, what the way Kenny Omega is getting on because they believe he's misrepresenting the, you know, the gay community or whatever it might be. There's a few few of them actually weren't happy on on, on Twitter about this, but th there's been a few of them that are try trying to do petitions on AEW um, to to leave. The, the NBA because it's not fitting their narrative. I remember when they had a million. Oh, they they pulled out their panties out and they're in their trunks there. And I started, we're winning, guys! We're winning! We're winning, guys! How's that? How you winning now, huh? That's why, like, look, all, and this goes for the WWE fans, don't be bragging either. Because both companies are terrible. Like, if you can't see that now, I don't know what to tell you. If you want to pretend that AEW is amazing. Like, I remember when AEW first started, I knew it was going to head down this route. Y'all didn't believe me. Y'all didn't believe WJ. You know, whenever we said about this indie stuff and what's going to happen, few people just didn't believe us. Just, just did not believe us. And now, look. The party's over. Tony Khan's actually going to have to build new talent rather than relying on the Young Bucks, Cody Rhodes and Kenny Omega. That's that's the way it has to be. He has to rely on other 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 um other competitors in there, okay? Rather than giving Jungle Boy a title, I weigh heavier than Jungle Boy. Okay? Jungle Boy whatever it, 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 I don't get the whole thing with Jungle Boy. I don't know why a lot. Like, but it's Jungle Boy. It's Jungle Boy. He's 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 like Tarzan. Uh, okay, great, fantastic. That's amazing. That's a great lower card character. But please, please, for the love of God, why is he competing for the world championship? For the love of God, like, are you trying to dr like? And this goes for WWE. Are they trying to get rid of the audience? Like, AEW have a perfect opportunity. To actually put on a decent show. So, Tony Khan, if you're watching this, stop listening to Kenny Omega. He don't know what he's talking about. He ain't got a clue what he's talking about. Stop listening to the Young Bucks. They couldn't They couldn't do a decent tag team to save their lives. Stop talking to Cody Rhodes. All he talks about is his family and let's all come together, guys. And he looks like he's crying every time he's doing a promo. And... The last thing, mate, is can we have actually, like, normal wrestlers? And I don't mean, like, normal as in, like, you know, weird. I mean, wrestlers that I could actually support. Like, I quite like John Moxley, Dean Ambrose. I quite like him. But he's not there as well. But I'd, I'd rather, why, just, just give him the title again. He's the only one that's marketable. Okay, just give him the title. He's the only decent one that was marketable in this entire thing. And maybe base off him off somebody else or whatever. 
But instead they're like highlighting Orange Cassidy, who's AEW's version of Santino Morella. So why are we market and there's none to disrespect to Santino Morella. Great talent. I'm sure your your man Orange Cassidy is, you know, even though he copied my whole gimmick with the sunglasses or whatever. That's totally fine. But <laughs> but the thing is, is that put it this way. Put, just put it this way. Um, I I honestly do believe that that they're in trouble. So's WWE, by the way. But AEW, they're gonna have to do cuts. So they're just gonna hire a bunch of. Oh, AEW's gonna see. You can't hire everybody when when you're hiring a bunch of people from WWE that that aren't even getting five hundred thousand viewers. And by the way, usually people would say like the key demo. The key demo was the lowest it's ever been since the company. So this key demo argument, scroll it up, throw it out a window. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Um, we're gonna be doing some more videos on here. Um, I'm still doing work on the Cody Rhodes rant. Oh, it's gonna be because I actually have the technology now. I actually have the editing software to make an epic. Because I was using Movie Maker before. Now, with this technology, I could make, like, a movie of a rant series now. Oh, you should see, oh, the script. Oh, it's just perfection. Just perfection. It's just going to take me time. But in the meantime, I'm going to upload videos on here. Guys, subscribe. Check out the video. Share it to your granny. The General Jerry's back. We're back. Me and WJ might go live on here at some point, either today or tomorrow. But ladies and gentlemen, this is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. It ain't over till I say it's over. Well, it's over for AEW. General Jerry, signing out you e yeah.